Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Handy Headquarters or Handy HQ. Um, I've been driving a Tesla for the last eight years and I thought as uh, part of this channel I would do some reviews um, for those of you who are frightened about getting into electric cars. Um, it's just about to go in for its, um, I think it's every two years it needs a roadworthy now and uh, one of the real lights is out so I'm going to show you how I repaired it. So just for some of the guys who want to do it themselves, here goes, I'll head out side uh, today i'm going to be doing something special um the rear light on my tesla model s 85d has filled with moisture in fact it's been like this for a long time that's a common problem with these cars and um uh, it looks like the, the friction welding between the lens and the thing was never sealed properly from the factory and so there is a guy on youtube who who um has found a way to fix them and by, by soldering in the LED lights but I took mine apart last week and it's far gone uh, the PCB board that drives the LEDs is, is, is gone so I've ordered the part from uh, Tesla and I'm now going to have a go at uh, replacing it so one of the guys has mentioned actually you don't need to take this complete back plastic section off the car if your hands are small enough to get through here now I um, I uh, just get the spare parts and a couple of tools. You can actually just pry this off with one of these. Whoops, difficult to do on one hand. But you can take that off with just one of these plastic tools. And uh, yeah, there are two little bolts at the back there but unfortunately i don't have small enough hands to i can get them in but I, but i can't get to turn a socket so i'm gonna have to take it off the other two are just two little i think they're eight millimeter uh nuts just here so there's four there's two on the outside here and two on the inside that you have to remove so let's give that a see if i can get that well difficult it's just it's just poppers and you don't need too much to get your your hand inside here to get the two screws loose let's so check what the size is then you're gonna need a ratchet for the ones inside use something like that to get these two inside here and you can go in through here and then spin them off okay that's these two little nuts put them in a safe place and then in order to get the um the light detached yeah it's got this cover piece here, which you don't have to remove completely, but it's on this section of the light, there's a bit of two-sided tape. So you have to use a bit of, they suggest on YouTube to use a bit of dental floss, but I tried that and uh, um, it uh, didn't work. So I used a bit of wire, I'll show you in a second. So what I did was I just used my plastic lever and lifted the end up, stuck a bit of wire in there and then slowly but surely moved this just to, to release the um, the two-sided the two tape until about there and that's fine, that's all you need. Now it's loose, then you can go ahead and lift this. this plastic lever again lift this and then you lift the light out you gotta sort of lift it enough in order to get uh, to get the last two bolts out there you go and then it just slides out like that so you can see the two bolts in here and it's a bit of a crazy design I mean you got all these open PCBs so any moisture 
in this thing uh, destroys it. So a lot of the guys on YouTube have um, put glue like a silicon or something around it to stop it. But uh, anyway, now to get the new one in. Actually Tesla service was very good. Uh, I tried to find the part uh, second hand online from different guys and, and it wasn't very many and they were all horrendously expensive you know, anything up to 400 euro for the, for the second hand one and uh, when I got the response from Tesla it was 199 which is still very expensive uh, Elon Musk if you're listening yeah, Tesla parts are way too expensive especially when there's a known fault with this uh, with these lights so I think if you catch it if you catch it early enough then um very well packed obviously. If you catch it early enough then you can, uh, a Tesla will just replace it, but uh, my Tesla is over it as well. So, uh, there we go. Very, very nicely packaged. New light. Beautiful. I hope, I hope to goodness this one is now sealed. We don't have the same problem again, so it should be just as easy as um, installing it and plugging it in. Let's hope that works and, and putting the two-sided tear back. So you also get a little kit here um, with some poppers if you manage to break the poppers and the two-sided tip so, uh, so you can replace, the, replace it. I'm not removing mine completely so uh, just going to use a blader to clean the, the rubber off the back of this. So I can put the new stuff on. it off. <laughs> Check to see if this one fits. Can see. Yeah, needs to be trimmed out just here because it's uh, overlapping a little bit. There you go. That's uh, a knife. Try a knife. Yeah. Not always easy to cut two-sided tape. It tends to be a bit gummy, but in this case, it's. Uh, it's working. So there you go, there's our little bit of extra. Now I have to put our new light in. It has a, a plug that has to go in here and there's a, when you take it off there's a little push button on the side to pull it off which is on the inside of the car, yeah, the push button. So anyhow, here we go. Moment of truth. This new boy back in again. Plastic lever again, but easier to pick this up. That's it. Seems to have found the, the holes, I think. My fingers are so cold, I can't feel anything. I think that's. I think that's it. Just getting the, the nuts back on here again. And, uh, 
quick test of the brakes and they're working. Off to the roadworthy. So that's the job done. Uh, it actually went through the roadworthy with, with no faults actually. In eight years it's had about three or four services only and some very minor issues. So stay tuned and I've got some more bits and pieces of uh, owning and driving a Tesla for the last eight years. See you later. Cheers.